Hi foodies, let's make a lovely stewed chicken breast using caramelized sugar. Yep, that's right, let's get started. So you know I like to season my meat overnight with your favorite seasoning. Give that a good marinade. So here is my bandanya, pimento peppers, onion, jalapeno, ginger garlic, uh, on one ripened tomato, and some fresh herbs. So let's chop that onion really nice. I want to slice it and dice it because I want it to melt off into the chicken. I don't want no long pieces in there. So give that a nice rough chop, just like so. Pimento pepper from the beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago. Lots of flavors, no heat. Seed and everybody going inside. Chop that parsley. Nice rough chop. And we're going to put it on two two separate amount slice that tomato i love to add tomato to meat you know it's a meat no matter how much you wash it there's always some meat fresh flavors in it so the tomato really calms it down so in my great grandmother-in-law pot or oja aguila's oja up to medium heat add that sugar now you're going to stand right there don't move this is very critical once you you got that desired color now add that chicken in there yep now do not turn and twist it up nope just lightly move it and settle it in there and cover that pot don't touch it leave it there for a good four minutes on medium low make it sure the pot is totally sealed yep just like so that's nice now let's take a look after that time you see how beautiful all the caramelization came up the sugar come up there it released its own little juices this is what i'm talking about so just loose it up from the bottom of the pot keep it on medium low now we're going to add all that stuff on the cutting board the tomato onion pepper garlic ginger everybody yep and some of the herbs not all this looks marvelous now we're going to infuse a little bit of that bandanya in there from trinidad that's right now that bandanya had some garlic also in it so in goes some meat base which i'm using chicken because it's chicken breast we're doing cover the pot medium low four minutes later take a look at this it released some more water in there now we're going to mix this up and let that tomato melt and it's going to add additional color and all those flavorings is going to add more flavors in there and, and infusion so this is sazon with culantro and achote meaning it have the ruku oil yep and it has culantro which is bandanya which we did put now this is tropical sazon which also has the ruku oil and other spice other uh, herbs so the Sazon Tropica will give you a bit of a yellow color because there is turmeric in there. Whereas the Sazon, the red one over there I showed to you just on the packet will give you more of a redness because it has tomato. So I want to go with the Tropical a little bit. So this has some yellowness to it. Lovely flavors in there and beautiful color. Look at the beautiful color just coming right before your eyes. You see that lovely golden color? And look at the gravy into it. Like, I love this. This is absolutely beautiful and it tastes marvelous. So look at the liquid too. Nice yellow color. So cover it again, some medium low. Let it cook in its own juices. You don't need to add any water to this because you will dry your chicken breasts off. And you know it's very dry and hoxy. Sprinkle on the rest of the herbs and there you go. Enjoy Jenny's work.